Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Samantha Lanch. Just hours after a major victory at home, Syracuse head basketball coach Jim Bayheim now wrapped up in a tragedy after officials say he struck and killed a pedestrian after the game last night. 18 News digital correspondent George Stockberger joins us now live in the studio with the details. Thanks, Sam. Yes, a tragic story developing in Syracuse involving the second winningest coach in college basketball history. It happened last night on I-690. This was the scene where officials say Syracuse men's basketball coach Jim Beheim struck and killed 51-year-old Jorge Jimenez. Officials say Jimenez was involved in a prior accident on the road and was assessing the damage. Beheim was pulling up to the accident and attempted to pass the vehicles when he struck Jimenez. As of right now, no charges have been filed and Beheim did pass a field sobriety test. Syracuse Athletic Director John Wildhack released the following statement. We are saddened by the death of a member of our central New York community. On behalf of Chancellor Kent Sivrood and the entire Syracuse University community, we extend our deepest condolences to all impacted by this tragic accident. Coach Beheim is in contact with local authorities and cooperating fully. Out of respect for those grieving, there will be no further comment at this time. And we have more on this story on our website, MyTwinTears.com. You can check it out there and on our 18 News Facebook and Twitter pages for the latest on this story throughout the day. But for now, reporting in the studio, George Stockberger, 18 News. Back to you, Sam. Thank you, George. And stay tuned to 18 News later tonight at 5, 530 and 6. We'll have Syracuse alum Brooke Taylor live at the university for the latest reaction.